Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm taking a felling test and this topic is uh, which I'm discussing is under uh, oxidation of aldehyde and ketone. So the felling reagent is also a mild oxidizing agent which is helping uh, in oxidation of aldehyde to carboxylic acid. So uh, felling test, uh, why we uh, do felling test, the question arises, uh, it is to identify, it is to identify aldehyde. So for identification of aldehyde compound in the lab, we used to have a uh, felling test and uh, uh, when I say ketones, whether ketones used to give this uh, felling test, I will say ketones uh, does not the do not or does not gives uh, fellings test and uh, only aldehyde used to perform this test and this felling test will take place uh, in presence of take place in presence of uh, uh, felling reagent uh, felling reagent and uh, felling reagent we will say it is a mixture of felling reagent is a mixture of uh, solution A and solution B and solution A is your aqua solution of aqua solution of copper sulfate and uh, and uh, your solution B will be uh, sodium potassium sodium potassium uh, tartarate so it is a mixture of solution A and solution B that is your felling reagent felling reagent is a mixture of solution A and solution B solution A is uh, equal solution of copper sulfate uh, if I write down the formula CO4 so 5 H2O that is your uh, copper sulfate pentahydrate and it is blue in uh, color and it is blue in color due to the presence of uh, due to the presence of uh, uh, copper ions CO2 positive ions and it is your sodium potassium tartrate now uh, this sodium potassium tartrate is also called sodium potassium tartrate is also called Rochley's salt uh, Rochley's uh, salt sodium potassium tartrate is also called Rochley salt it can be represented as C uh, O H here H then C OH here H then here COO K and here also C O Na so this uh, this side Na is there and this side potassium is there that is called sodium potassium tartrate and it is also called Rochelle salt now let us uh, understand the reaction what happens we have uh, aldehyde that is R C around OH that is aldehyde so here aldehyde I have written then I have uh, been using aqueous solution if I want to represent CO2 positive so it is your uh, tolerant felling reagent felling reagent I have taken that is a CO2 positive and aqueous solution uh, colored solution I have taken so what will happen here oxidation uh, will take place oxidation will take place and your aldehyde is undergoing oxidation is undergoing oxidation and forming RCOO negative that is carboxylic uh, compound getting formed plus uh, CO2O that is CO2O means here copper is having two positive ions and here will be copper will be having positive ion a uh, reddish brown color compound reddish brown color formation or compound formation will take place so here reduction have taken place so in this way uh, the reaction or equation can be shown now here we find that the blue color of uh, CO2 positive uh, converts into reddish brown color due to formation of uh, CO2O component or compound and uh, if I compare your uh, here if I compare your tolerance uh, reagent if I compare the tolerance reagent with your felling reagent so uh, so tolerance reagent is considered to be more 
powerful uh, and we will say tolerance reagent is your better uh, better oxidizing agent uh, in property so that is an important note for us so we have understood about filling test now let us uh, have some examples so uh, in the example case i am taking an aldehyde here i have taken benzaldehyde it is an aldehyde now we have your filling uh, reagent we have a filling reagent and uh, we find that filling reagent is your weak oxidizing agent so i find that no reaction will uh, take place in this case but uh, if i have the same uh, aldehyde that is benzaldehyde and we have your uh, tolens reagent that is considered to be a better uh, oxidizing agent so here oxidation will take place and form carboxylic acid so uh, we able to compare the tolens reagent is better oxidizing agent as compared to felling reagent now so so this is what uh, we come across here about uh, felling test and in felling test we come across that is a mixture of felling reagent is a mixture of two solution solution a and solution b solution a is aqueous salt solution of uh, copper sulfate and solution b is rochely salt that is sodium potassium tartrate so it can be shown in this reaction that uh, co2 positive ion is representing the whole uh, felling reagent and uh, it is able to oxidize but it is considered to be little uh, weak or uh, oxidizing agent uh, as compared to tolerance reagent thank you